great, great setup there. Yes, so. Fascination helps the world see you. How does the world see you? Now, we're here presenting and, and our fellow speakers, they're worried about their hair and their makeup and their shoes and everything. There's a few hundred people that might see them, a few thousand in the audience maybe. But on digital media, the world is looking. The world is looking. And that's how the world is going to see you. So social media enables you to open your heart, heart, open your mind, and enable people to get to know, like, and trust you so that they want to do business with you. They're not all going to meet you one-on-one -on -one in person like we're meeting here. So you want that first impression to be a strong one, right? So how do you know if you're doing a good job or not? As Terry explained, this score called clout. It's kind of like a credit score for the internet. Your credit score is private. Clout score is public. Everybody's looking. And people are increasingly looking at this particular number. So it helps you evaluate your own social media activity. It also helps the world evaluate your social media activity. So let's, let's take a look at what clout is. Dig into it a little bit here. They're evaluating billions of data points on the different users uh, every day. Sort of like a lighthouse beacon, the score of 100. Nobody has that right now. President Obama is high 90s, Justin Bieber is low 90s. Um, but it's a beacon to say, OK, this is what you want to be doing, and this is a, this is a good way to do it uh, in social media. If you have a score above 60, you're in the top 5%. As Terry said, if you have a Twitter account, you automatically have a score, like it or not. Now, this is what clout looks like when you have a, a profile, when you've set it up. And as you can see, uh, that's my um, picture, my, my score there, 78. 78 is, is a relatively high score. Um, and we're going to show you what this looks like a little bit more detailed. Will, will you read your bio there? Because I think that's a great example of using an anthem. Exactly, it is. Now, I'm maestro, but I scored really high on uh, power, passion, power, um, prestige, and passion. So my words, I use tri builder. I say that I am the tri builder. I help powerful people build pa passionate people build powerful tribes of raving fans. And when I learned that that was essentially my um, trigger at the time, now my advantages, uh, I'm like, oh my god, it just reinforced that I'm on the right track here. This is what I'm using. And some people said, ah, oh, try builder, I don't really know about that. But it, it said to me, you're on the right track, Gina. Keep up with it. You call it the ring, ring, leader. ring leader. And that's what I still want to call myself, even the maestro. It's kind of, kind of re related. So this is where you're able to let people see your, they're going to come to your clout page increasingly. And you can use just your Twitter bio, but you can also customize, or you can customize it. They're going to look at your LinkedIn profile. And they're also going to look at uh, what specific profile you put here. So this is a great place to put your anthem, to incorporate your anthem into your profile. It's a great place to use your, um, your advantages as well in part of your description. So that's, that's how I would use it there. Um, this also shows you which networks you're strongest on. You, if you can see down below there, Clout, um, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, those, sort, those things. Now. This is also where the world's looking at you, and they don't have categories like um, insights and fascinate, but try to find categories that match up to you. My topics, Cloud is scoring me for topics, and it, it says, okay, in the world, you're talking about these things, and these are the things that people are seeing about you. So for me, surprise, I talk about Cloud a lot. I'm an expert, it, it's what are your topics do you talk about, what are you an expert in? Expert in Wikipedia, expert in influencer marketing, public speaking, reputation management, online communities. And not only does Clout say that that's what I'm uh, uh, an expert in, it also says, um, these, it gives out people an opportunity to give me what's called a plus K. So they're kind of giving me a little thumbs up. Yeah, Gina, we think you know a lot about that topic. So that's what you want to choose. Clout will choose topics for you, but you can change them. You can go in and choose your own topics within parameters of what they have already said that can be used. So it, it is pretty limited. Uh, there are a lot of things I'd like to use, but they're not available. So try to find the topics that you want to be known for. Otherwise, it's just going to put some up there. Did you want to add something to that, Sally? I do. Um, Cloud is 
Cloud is a parallel for any kind of conversation that you want to have, whether it's a marketing conversation or an in-person conversation. Your degree of influence is going to be measured by how much you can fascinate and engage and persuade your audience, right? So imagine if you have customers for your business who passively like you, but they don't, they don't come into your store or they don't come to your website, they, they, don't, they don't share, they don't refer you, they don't buy anything. They, they're not really helping your brand. And in the same way, what, what, what Gina and Terry are describing, what, um, that cloud is measuring you on your ability to get other people to want to engage with you, to take what you're giving and give it to other people, to comment and ask questions. Those are the exact same things that we want from our customers, our clients, our coworkers, our teams. So the principles of what they're talking about, this is a, 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 are in a new platform, but it's all the exact same principle. You have to understand how the world sees you so that you can create influence and engagement. Yes. And this is a tool to say, hey, am I doing a good job? Now, Terry mentioned cloud moments. This is at the bottom of your profile. And I'm, my strongest network is Facebook. And so this pulls from Facebook, which posts of mine have been the most uh, successful in the past 90 days. So rather than you saying, hey, what do people respond to? Look at your clout moments. You can say, oh, they like that. They didn't like that. Terry was on the cover of Speaker Magazine, and a lot of my friends liked that. So um, that was one of the top moments. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> and um, so, so I really love this tool. Now Sally, um, Sally's currently a 68, which is a high score. Uh, her score is going to be going up a lot soon. I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. But um, it looks like you haven't really uh, been real active on connecting the networks right now, and that's yeah, something I that. Been active on Twitter lately. Yeah, and so that's incredible that you're that you have that high of a score. When uh, I can tell she hasn't connected the networks because she'd have a lot more little logos uh, underneath her name uh, of the different networks that, that you connect. But um, right there, Hall of Fame speaker, author of Fascinate. So she's putting in the important information right there. Let's, what a big surprise. She's influential, Clout says, she's influential on marketing, social media, business. L.L. Bean? You might have tweeted, like one time I tweeted, one time I did a post about, I like the strat marketing strategy of Harley Davidson. Next thing I know, I was an expert in motorcycles. Well, I, I haven't had a motorcycle since I was 14, but you know, so I took that one off and I put something else on. Uh, leadership and advertising, so pretty accurate there. <clears throat> Her moments, now this is really important. Great mix of personal and business. A little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. This is social media. This is not broadcast media, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, like Terry said. So she has some great quotes that she's pulled out uh, probably from her books or just things that she's thinking about that relate to her business. And then there are some pictures of the kids that always get, and kids and pets, and the things that you're doing always gets a lot of interaction. So her moments. Terry. Um, a lot of logos underneath his name. A lot of times when you see more logos, you're going to see a higher score. So he has the LinkedIn profile there. And let's see what does Clout say and he say about his expertise, technology. And he has um, 76 people who've given him plus K. So 76 votes, so to speak, of saying he's an expert in technology. Clout, social media, marketing, blogging, authors. So these are the areas where he's an expert. This, to the right, I haven't uh, talked about that, but that's people that you interact with. Those are the people who you've most recently interacted with. Now, here are Clout Terry's moments. And similarly, a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Uh, there's a picture of Sally there. He must, uh, the people like the post that you di he did about Sally. Uh, he rides a unicycle to his dentist's office. So he took a picture of it when he was asking them how to park, where do they, you know, where do the other customers park their unicycles, right? <laughs> So you share things like that. Just what's going on in your life. Share it. Yes? I, I have a question about how, because uh, I noticed my, my cloud score got affected after they made the changes in the algorithms mm -hmm. and Facebook pages. And <clears throat> I was wondering if you could Don't waste your time. <laughs> Clout does not count Facebook pages very high, unless you're a major brand that has tons of interaction on your page. Almost everybody in here, you will have a higher Clout score. Disconnect your Facebook page, connect your Facebook personal profile. If you haven't connected any of these yet, it's going to ask you when you first go in there, do you want to connect your Facebook page or your Facebook personal profile? Personal profile will get a higher score. Great question. Okay, David. 
Does David know a little bit about SEO, search engines, internet marketing? I mean, this stuff's accurate. And um, his score right now is 63, top 5%. So, doing great there. <laughs> John Little, uh, we met John yesterday. Uh, John's a business coach, personal development, sports expert, management, life coaching, um, leadership. So, those things. Now, here's an example where John's score is a 46. This is a really important point as well. While clout does matter and it's important, what matters more is your bank account. Now, clout does not count LinkedIn or Google Plus very much for the score. The big focus is on Facebook and Twitter. John spends a lot of time on LinkedIn because that's where his customers are. So that's a smart move. John and I worked together a little bit and talked about some of his strategy. I said, you know what, in this case, cloud, you know, it's important. But what's more important is are you getting the customers? And if your customers are on LinkedIn, spend time there, even if the clout score is not going to reflect it. This is a behind the scenes, it's called the dashboard. So in addition to the profile that we've been talking about, there's this dashboard that shows you, okay, over the last 90 days, this was your high score, this was your low score, here's how you're doing right now. This does fluctuate every day a little bit. Don't get too caught up in it, check it once a week or so. Some people are really compulsive. It only changes once a day, so don't, definitely don't check it more than once a day. Oh. And it shows also who specifically interacted with you and whether that counted a lot or not, whether that person was a high influential person or not. And how are we doing on time? Okay, so Clout counts all these different networks right now, but of these, the ones that matter the most are these. Wikipedia, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram counts a lot. Make a slight shift in what you're doing on photos on social media. Instead of taking it with your camera and posting on Facebook and posting on Twitter, take it on Instagram, automatically post on Facebook, post on Twitter, and um, you're going to get more clout juice and you're going to get more interaction. Use hashtags too, that's real important. Is that, is that true for if you take it with your camera and then um, open up Instagram and pull it in? Or yes. Is that the same? Open up Instagram, pull it in, okay. share it, Instagram. Check the Facebook button, Twitter button, Foursquare button, all that will get good at juice. Yes? On, on hashtag, can you give like the top three best uh, uh, rules or uh, um, Sally, should we, should we hold social media questions till later? Do, why, don't we, why don't we answer that one and then we'll hold them for okay. a little bit. Because here, here's the thing, there's, I recommend you seek out these experts. They're the ones that I, I personally bring in and that's why I brought them here to be able to share with you. I, I have a huge responsibility because I've made you a promise that you're going to understand your anthem. So I want to keep bringing us back to that because we could go we could go shallow on many topics or we can continue to go deep and I want to give you more training. So I understand you have questions. How can they best reach out to you? No, okay, that's my last slide. Okay, but hashtag's a great opportunity to use your anthem. Use your, use your words. That would be a really good way to do that. Um, let me... Let me come back if we have some time. Wikipedia really counts a lot towards your clout score and Sally has a brand new spanking uh, Wikipedia page. When, when this gets added to her score, which will be about a um, couple weeks probably, her score is going to boost up probably 15 points. So she's going to be in those high 70s, maybe above 80. Yeah. Now to have a Wikipedia page is tough. Who did my Wikipedia <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you have to be very noteworthy. So, you know, Today Show and Good Morning America and those kind of things. You don't have to, she's very noteworthy. You do have to have a lot of significant press, third party press, not just your buddy's blog and, you know, uh, your buddy's best t top 10 list. Significant coverage. What product do you have? I mean, it doesn't you, could, you might qualify for your product or your book or your company or yourself. Yes. Quick ABCs of high and high social high clout score, good social media presence, and good way to let people know about what you are all about with your uh, fascination advantages. So, A, always be engaging. It's not broadcast social media, it's interaction. You need to be interacting with people. B, be consistent. Better to be on 15 minutes a day than an hour every other day. Be consistent. It's like being at the office at the water cooler. If you're not there, outside, out of mind. Connect. Connect all your networks on clout. If you, connect, if you go in and connect the networks, your score will probably go up five points just with that. 
Yeah, so connect the networks and uh, connect with other people. That's really important. If you guys want these slides, give me your card. Uh, I was gonna go through a few other things of online collaborative networks. I think the ringer's going off. <laughs> We're out of time. Okay, so uh, if you want to know about online collaborative networks or be invited to join some, please give me your card and then you can, uh, the best way is to engage and you can find me at ginacar.com, gina at ginacar.com. Are we done? Yay. Okay, thank you.